Yeah, yeah. Like, it's so frustrating that I feel like in order to win, like, you just need, like, two-star, five-cost champions. Like, that's all you need to win. And I just leaned into that. I'm like, you know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me just get an Urgot and an Aurelian Soul and call it a day. And I did. And that's all it took to win. It's kind of shitty. <laughs> but, hey. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what's up? How are you? I'm good. When's your birthday again? Is it like next week? No, no, no. It's the 28th. It's oh. three weeks from Monday. Okay. That still makes you a Virgo, right? No, I'm a Libra. You're a Libra. <laughs> mm hmm. That's crazy. I mean, there's also just, like, absolutely no scientific basis for, like, astrology whatsoever. I knew you were going to say that. Like, straight <laughs> guys, straight white, like, I went to college type dudes are always the worst, like, astrology haters. I'm just like, bro. Dude, like, I don't hate culture, it. It just culture, isn't real. <laughs> every culture in the whole world has their own version of astrology. <laughs> it just isn't real, dude. I mean, like, I don't I don't hate it, but it just, it just isn't a thing. <laughs> Like it's it, such a thing, the, oh, dude. The whole about this all the day. whole point of <laughs> the whole point of science, right? Is like you can test something repeatedly, and like it comes out to like there's some kind of correlation, right, mm -hmm. between personality, or and and like astrology, or like anything and astrology, and like it just isn't there. They te they've tested this stuff over and over, and it just isn't there. Like it's totally there, dude. Dude, it's I totally would there. love to link you some <laughs> studies because it isn't. It just isn't, dude. It just okay. isn't. <laughs> you, you win. <laughs> I will link you some studies. Dude, I can tell you're not convinced. Spoiled. I mean, like, because it basically, like, it functions like a science, right? I mean, like, it even has an yeah. ology. Like, if Where you didn't know any better, you would think it was this? science. Okay, I have no potions, so, like, this is pretty bad. I should have, like, played further back, because... I have no sustain and no potions. And our front line is like not pressing. Yep. Oh, we oh we didn't get I thought we got this We took No no I just I just literally just like got Leona on accident and went up running away. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> to me, Aram always feels like who has less AFKs, like at level 1, wins the game. That's weird. Right. Because, like, bush control matters so much. And I feel like people just AFK, and then you're like, well.
Okay, Wikipedia says astrology has not demonstrated its effectiveness in controlled studies that has no scientific validity and is thus regarded as pseudoscience. I already, I already said you want me away. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, like, because my point, I'm not trying to win, I'm trying to convince you that, like, it's not real, you know what I mean? Like, it's not about you telling me that I won, it's about <laughs> the truth, dude. It's about me coming to a higher understanding of the world. <laughs> That's about the truth, dude. Shut down. I don't think those guys know it. That's the thing. I know it's like here I am, you know, kind of being a lot of But you know, I, I don't know. Just from what I observed. And the thing is, it's like it depends on, on what nice They're measuring it by the fact that it's going to be like in the future. Of course, it can. But, I mean, okay, let me tell you what validity is, right? Because it said it's not valid, so here's what validity means in a scientific context. Validity refers to the degree to which a study accurately reflects or assesses the specific concept that research is attempting to measure. So basically it's just saying that it isn't it isn't accurate, right? Like, like when they do... It's accurate and it depends to be like... Like, if you compare it to, like, gravity or something, right? Like, gravity is something that you can, like, measure repeatedly. And, like, it always is... It, it, you know, it has, like, specific variables that affect it. Like, the thing that makes it so easy to prove that astrology isn't real is that they have, like... They have a whole thing about it. They don't pretend that it's, like, not well understood. Right? Like, when you go... If it was, like, quantum physics or something, and they're, like... You know, nobody quite knows how it works. Like, that yeah. makes it hard to disprove. 
right? But the thing about astrology is that, like, they claim to already know, like, 100%, like, how it works. And that this being in retrograde affects that, and that, you know, like, like it's who is, very... Who is they? Astrologers? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's... It, uh, if it doesn't have, like, any... If it doesn't have any, like, repeatability, if, like, astrologers don't even agree on, like, the basics of the field, that's another bad sign. Oh, Wait, okay. There are like a lot of astrologers. I mean, I don't think, I mean, are there I mean not? scientists don't agree very often either. No, they do. They definitely mostly agree on all this stuff. The thing is, they only, they mostly study the stuff that they don't agree on. Like, most of what they put the time into studying is stuff that they don't already understand. And that's why, like, it seems like there isn't a lot of agreement. But, like, in reality, like, they agree on almost everything. <laughs> but like, yeah, I think that there's a pretty, I mean, I could be wrong about this, but as, if you read individual astrologers, they'll all say stuff like that, you know, when planets are in retrograde or like, you know, depending on what the... I just kind of want them to like... I just want us to like kind of like hold back them and have them push towards to us a little bit. Well, I guess we lost it. Yeah. I feel like I feel we like every time... I feel like we push too hard and then we just end up diving and we end up just... Yeah. Well, I'm trying to stack my Dark Harvest. Mm. Like, I don't I don't have a lot of, like, wave there, and if I'm under tower, I can't hide in a bush. And, like, having a Dusk Blade means I basically oh. have to hide in a bush. This lag is too real for me, dude. <laughs> what were you saying? Something about something? Something about what? What were you saying? You, I think you're, weren't you kind of saying something? Like, mid something? What? So... Cause I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really hear you very well. There's a whole section on tests that they've done in astrology. Okay. So it starts like this. Astrologers often avoid making verifiable predictions and instead rely on vague statements that try to let them avoid falsification. Okay. Across several centuries of testing, the predictions of astrology have never been more accurate than that expected by Shut chance down. alone. One approach used in testing astrology quantitatively is through Ace. blind experiment, when specific predictions from astrologers were tested in rigorous experimental procedures in the Carlson test. The, pre the predictions were falsified. All controlled okay. experiments have failed to show any effect. So the first one is... Changed us. Carlson us made us experiment. 
28 astrologers matching over 100 natal charts to psychological profiles generated by the California Psychological Inventory using double blind. So double blind means that the, neither the researchers nor the participants know, like, um, like what the prediction is for them. Yeah. Again, I really do think that they're just measuring. Like, I don't know, I don't. I think that they're measuring a certain, I don't know. They want to find something to be repeatable, which makes sense of how this experiment works. But I think, like, they're looking for, like, what would they ask astrologers to do with that? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, like accurately guess their signs or accurately predict the future or something like that. Okay. So, the experimental procedure was agreed to by a group of physicists and astrologers before the experiment. So the astrologers agreed that it was like a valid thing to do. Astrologers nominated by the National Council for Geocosmic Research acted as the astrological advisors and helped to ensure that agreed that and agreed that the test was fair. They also chose 26 of the 28 astrologers for the test, the other two being interested astrologers who volunteered afterwards. The astrologers came from Europe and the United States. The astrologers helped to draw up the central proposition of natal astrology, which must be like a field of it. I'm not super familiar. Uh, to be tested. Published in Nature in 1985, the study found that the predictions based on natal astrology were no better than chance and that testing clearly refutes the astrological hypothesis. So that's just one test, right? I mean, like, we don't... Like, one test isn't, like, hard proof that something is completely fake, right? I mean, like... Because, like you say, like, nobody can... It, they can't do it, like, to have it be 100% accurate. You know, like, nobody... Ugh, this just sucks, dude. I can't, like, 1v4 their back on, and I feel like... I feel like our engage just isn't that good. Like, yeah, I mean... I can't get in there, and the thing is, dude, like, I don't know. I try to play these games, but it's just, like, it's just yeah, too much. I, I, I really want Gary to, like, talk about that one, so he can just see, like, how many times I've, like, yeah. like, an ult. I mean, we don't have to play this. It just this. didn't work. <laughs> it's yeah. just, like, it's, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing it to myself, you know. I'm often doing it. So that's the first one. And there's Dean and Kelly, scientist and former astrologer Jeffrey Dean and psychologist Ivan Kelly conducted a large-scale scientific test involving more than 100 cognitive, behavioral, physical, and other variables, but found no support for astrology. A further test involved 45... These all have, like, sources, too. Like, if you mm -hmm. wanted to read more about any of this stuff, they all have sources. A further test involved 45 confident astrologers with an average of 10 years experience and 160 test subjects out of an original sample size of 1,198 test subjects who strongly favored certain characteristics 
in the I Senk personality questionnaire to extremes. The astrologers perform much worse than merely basing decisions off the individual's ages, and much worse than 45 control subjects who did not use birth charts at all. I just get like exhausted by Bard and I just all focus. But I guess I might be we might be, ma we might be making a comeback. I mean, I don't know, we haven't even really hit the tower. It has a little bit of damage on it. Yeah, I think this one is like unwinnable almost. Where's your just super super far behind? I don't know. The Cho is like Definitely Cho, but other than that, and Lux, we don't really have like super good peel either. Like you, you're like okay peel and okay engage, but I can like only engage, and we just don't really have follow up. Which is definitely like a carry, but so is Corky. I'm concerned. I don't think Twitch outscales Corky either, although they're both good late game, but like. I don't know. They, they literally, none of them have even gotten any kind of like armor for me either. Like, I'm, I'm that hard. So. A meta-analysis was conducted pooling 40 studies of 700 astrologers over 1,000 birth charts. Okay, 10 of the tests which had a total of 300 participating astrologers. Three hundred participating involved the astrologers picking the pr correct chart interpretation out of a number of others that were not in the astrologically correct chart interpretation, usually three to five others. When the date and other obvious clues were removed, no significant results were found to suggest there was any preferred chart. In ten studies, participants picked horoscopes that they felt were accurate descriptions, with one being the correct answer. Again, the results were no better than chance. In 10 studies, oh wait, we just read that. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, that was good. <coughs> That's like the first fight we've won all game, I feel like. Okay. In a study of 2011 sets of people born within five minutes of each other, time twins to see if there was any discernible effect. No effect was seen. Quantitative sociologist. Quantitative sociologist David Voas examined the census data for more than 20 million individuals in England and Wales to see if star signs corresponded to marriage arrangements. No effect was seen. I mean, again, I think that they're measuring this search. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> well, so the next, the next section is 
on astrologer. In 1955, astrologer and psychologist Michael Gokulin stated that although he failed to find evidence to support such indicators as zodiac zodiacal signs and planetary aspects in astro astrology, he had found positive correlations between the diurnal positions of some of the planets and success in professions, such as doctors, scientists, athletes, actors, writers, painters, which astrology traditionally associates with those planets. The best Your known of Gawkland's findings is based on the position of Mars in the natal charts. <laughs> Best known is based on the position of Mars in the natal charts of successful athletes and became known as the Mars effect. A study conducted by seven French scientists attempted to replicate the claim but found no statistical evidence. They attributed the effect to selective bias on Gauklin's parts, accusing him of attempting to persuade them to add or delete names from their study. Dean has Jeffrey Dean has suggested the effect may be caused by self-reporting of birth dates by parents rather than any issue with the study by Gauklin. The suggestion is that a small subset of the parents may have changed birth times to be consistent with better astrological charts. If you are winning, okay. okay, we're coming back. Maybe. I'm not there, but I'm almost there. Which is dead. Run, run, run. I'm dead for like 40 seconds. Like if we death, we die. Well, <laughs> I don't I don't have any like wave clear. Like I don't think there's anything I can really do to like kill Zero. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And just run the other way so they don't like <laughs> <laughs> Well yeah. Twitch will be a lot. I think that's probably the best. I don't have a lot of mobility. Yeah. Okay. So it's cool. I mean, I'm gonna be up in a second, and so is Lux and Twitch. So we might be okay. Yeah, it's three v three, so it should be okay. okay. So beyond the scientific test, astrology has failed. Proposals for astrology face a number of other obstacles due to many theoretical flaws in astrology, including a lack of consistency, a lack of ability to predict missing planets. Lack of any connection to the zodiac of the zodiac to the constellations, and lack of any plausible mechanism. The underpinnings of astrology tend to disagree with numerous basic facts from scientific disciplines. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just I'm remembering conversations that we had where you were telling me that like Trump people don't believe in science and I'm just saying dude, like <laughs> you can't the pick and is, choose. Like, science is it science I know, I know exactly what you mean. But at the same time, it's like it's, it's like it's it's different. It's different because it's like it's not just off of a before. Like again, this is something that culture can definitely It's not just a I don't know, it's not just a, it's been around before Western science, but I don't think everyone like everything that existed prior to Western science, I like, just don't think it's No, a lot of it has been like proven to be true. Like not everything that existed before Western science is like a lie. Like a lot of it has been proven to be accurate. Like I, in want. fact, you the, like <laughs> I, yeah. Oh, yeah. In fact, like I think that a lot of the stuff that existed before Western science is like the foundation of Western science. But like. Astrology is just not one of those things that has been, like, verified. Okay, I can kill that Corky and the Switch is ending the game. Uh, I don't know what to do. Just stay safe. And maybe if you can knock one of them out, knock one of them out. Maybe I can, like, backdoor if they all leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I knew they were gonna check the bush too. That's fine. I don't know. All I'll say is that it's like it, it's a difference between believing in virology. The thing is like the science is oh. how, do just, how do I say this? It's like I don't know. I 
I mean, like, okay, so there are a lot of problems with science. Like, I will definitely admit. Okay, okay what I'll say, like, when it comes to things that are kind of more in the spiritual and religious sector, I just don't think this really the game. But here's the thing. Like, astrology isn't supposed to be, like, a spiritual thing. Like, it literally, it's like a pseudo-science. Like, religion isn't a pseudo-science, religion is just, like, a different thing, right? Like, religion doesn't yeah. say, like, you can use scientific principles to verify, like, that this is gonna work. Right? Like, someone who is, like, a, a past... And anything is, like, some astrologers may claim that it's like that, and I'm... I can't say I agree with those astrologers, but there's the same time, it's like the national. Yeah, I think I think that that's like widely accepted. Like the very fact that like your pastor doesn't like pretend pretend that he can predict the future or something. Like when you look at horoscopes and stuff, they're like we can predict the future. Like it's like a science. We should add. We should add. We did it! Okay, we did it. I was, I was wrong. I was <laughs> we wrong. Yeah, it was we a definitely, like, it was a struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and earlier you said something about quantum physics, right? And it was just like, I really think that, like, astrology falls into the realm of things that are kind of beyond... I don't know. I guess it depends on how you see it. I mean, I think that, like, the thing about quantum physics is that we make advances in it all the time. And that there is a lot of... And also, like, it's based on science, like, completely. It just... it just It's not well understood, but, like, it agrees fundamentally with all the, like, principles of science. And it's, like, stuff that you can test and stuff that you can see, right? I mean, like... And I think, you know, I... I definitely believe that there that there is stuff that like science doesn't understand that like some spiritual practices might right like but I also think that like if you gave scientists enough data they would be able to understand it like I think that with another thousand years of like scientific advancement like it would be able like I don't think that those two things are fundamentally like irreconcilable like that religious principles will never be able to be understood by science like i don't think that i think science just is like science is like you know like there are things that you think are true and then there are things that you can prove are true and like one of those is an obviously larger bubble right like things that you think are true like with a high degree like based on stuff but you can't prove it are like those are you know that's always going to be a bigger bubble than stuff that you can prove is true and i think that like religion is more like stuff that people think is true but they can't prove it right and like and i think that you know the if it is true eventually they'll be able to prove it and so like i don't think that there is this like huge disconnect between like you know any type of like you know like spiritual principles because either the spiritual principles like are, could be proven true but we don't know how or like they're wrong right like if because if it if you can't if it's not true if you can't prove that it's true then it isn't right i mean like you know eventually if you had all of the data that could possibly exist if you were you know like if you were omniscient and you knew everything and you couldn't prove that something like you would be able to prove that everything true is true and so like i think that i disagree on. with that you disagree with that i disagree with that entirely you think it's like you think that you can't prove that true things are true with like enough data no i i don't <laughs> like name know, name right? something that you think you couldn't Proof is true with like facts it's just like it i think proof is subjective like i know that's probably like a mind fuck of a statement but I, I, that's what i think i think when it comes to those things it's like how do you mean certain, yeah. huh how it's do you just like it depends that? on the person like i think it depends on the observer i remember reading something it was just i don't know it was kind of fluffy but it was basically saying it's just like the mind of the observer 
when those people were doing those double slit, double blind, whatever the fuck, when they were studying like wave particles and subatomic particles, I think they realized that the actual mind of the observer had an effect on what was being observed, right? Yeah. So it's just like I think at some level, the actual subjective, like like understanding of the person. It's gonna affect. It affects what they just what they see and what they. You know. You know. We've been talking all the time about like how people their perception is their reality. I and it's just a real pleasure to tell me when to start actually reality. All I'm saying is that the consciousness and like the understanding of the observer matters. And, and you might not be able to prove something objectively to someone else, and that's just because Any game I well, perception. Is okay. Game. So it's like to say concrete proof, like concrete proof is kind of in certain contexts Welcome not concrete. Okay, so here's sense? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that um I think so. I think that there's two situations in which you can say, like, 100% for sure that the observer's consciousness, uh, like, affects the thing that they're observing, right? And so those two situations would be, uh, I'm waiting for the junior, would be, like, so there's, for example, like, I would say like psychology or anything where you're studying like a conscious phenomenon. Anything where you're studying something conscious that's like reacting to your stimulus, right? Because if you look at like a rock, like the the so I would say like conscious and unconscious would be my two distinctions basically. Because if you're looking at a rock, the rock isn't reacting based on what you're thinking or like observing about it. Right, you're reacting based on what, but you're reacting to the rock based on what, based on what you're thinking. But the rock isn't reacting to you based on what you're thinking. Right. So, I would say that like when it comes to, when it comes to like unconscious phenomena like light, like light isn't a conscious as far as we can have any idea about. Light is not like a conscious phenomenon. So, the light isn't literally reacting to the person, the person is reacting to the light. So different people are thinking different things when you're looking at the light, but, um, but the light isn't making any kind of distinction between itself depending on who's looking at it. But then the other example would be something like when they do, I'm not sure whether I'm remembering this right, but that there's like... Um, that famous person who studied chimpanzees, her, her name's like Jane Goodall or something, right? Yeah. And she, um, and I think, I could be wrong about this, that there's some, like, demonstrable effect that, like, the chimpanzees, like, act different when they know that she's observing them, right? That, like, people, that, like, conscious, conscious entities, like, change their behavior based on, like, what they perceive. And so I think that, like, there's those two examples. And so when we say stuff about, like, astrology, though, like, astrology is obviously not, like, a conscious phenomenon. Like, it's not like the planets are changing, like, the astro astrological principles based on the people that they're predicting. It's just that... So here's what I would say is that... Um, So, astrology is the latter, right? Like, astrology is definitely something that um, isn't changing itself based on being observed. Oh, we're answering, we're answering. So, that means that, like, any kind of, like, any kind of change in the truth of the phenomenon is like so not actually 
the phenomenon itself. It's like the observer. So we we would call that like some kind of like subjective bias, right? That's what we we call that like bias when the person can't um, can't observe it accurately because of like their own uh, you know their own faculties, right? Like, and there's some degree to which like because because all of the people who are studying the things, they're all humans and they all have the same kind of, like, faculties. There's some way in which, like, it's hard to, uh, you know, to remove all subjective bias from science. So some part of it is just, like, there just is subjective bias. Um... I don't see a team, I see cocktail And so the point of double blind studies is basically to try to remove as much subjective bias as possible. Because they're like, well, if the person doesn't know what they're observing, then they can't, um, then they can't, like, observe things that aren't there based on what they expect to be there. And obviously when you're talking about light studies and you're saying that people are perceiving the light like differently. Some of that could be due to like biological changes or differences in the person. Right? So that they're like, you know, some people I think that there's some evidence that people see colors like a little bit differently based on the number of like rods and cones and stuff that they have in their eyes. Like the same color doesn't look exactly the same for every person. And so there's like some there's some extent to which like it could be true that like the people are literally, um... The people are literally, they're perceiving the light different because of literal, um... Because of literal, like, differences in the person. And then... Like, another option would be that there is some something about the perspective that they are, um, that they inhabit is causing them to see it differently, right? Like, when people are on two, like, you know, there's this famous thing about the, about an elephant, where there's all these people who are touching an elephant, and one of them says, like, you know, that the elephant is like a leg, and one of them says that the elephant is like a you know, is like a trunk, and one of them says the elephant is like a tail, because they're all touching different parts of the elephant. So it could just be that something about their perspective. Oh, this is, they're all blind, too, that's why they don't just look at it. But, um... But... Um... Yeah, so there could be something about the perspective. There could be something about... I mean, there, there can't... In the case of astrology, there can't be anything about... Um, about... About, like, the phenomenon being conscious, so that the phenomenon is, like, actively changing. Yeah, I mean, basically what I was going to say earlier is that, like, I would be, and I think science itself, but I would be the first one to admit that there, there can be a lot of problems with science, right? Like, there can be a lot of different, like, biases in the scientific method that make it not return accurate results. And, like, one of them is, like, they call it confirmation bias, where they're, like, you see what you expect to see, which I think is what you're saying, basically, is that, like, basically you don't think that they are having accurate, um, you don't think that their, like, predictions are accurate, because you think that they have, like, an idea about astrology being fake before they even start researching it. Um, and, like, to that, I guess I would just say that I, I think that 
if it were true, they would want to know. Right? Yeah, I mean, and it makes sense. But the thing is, I, I what I was saying earlier is just that if they're measuring it on its ability to predict the future, they're of course going to come up with horrible results because I don't believe it can do the future. I don't think it does. So if they're trying to prove that, they're gonna be proven right. I mean, I think you know it I mean? claims <laughs> it claims to though. I think when you look at like horoscopes and like yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. people's personalities and predict the future, yeah, that's that's bad off. Though. <laughs> I mean, like my question would be, what do you think? What do you think astrology does if it doesn't predict like people's like personalities and their like horoscopes? And oh stuff wait, based is that on... what you think that I thought the astrology does? I that's what I think all <laughs> astrology is trying to do. Oh, interesting. Like what? Like what do you think astrology does and is about? Oh, let me get through this too. Right quick. Yeah. <laughs> Better call traveling because I'm going places. As for me, when I see people who are like talking about astrology, like the two main things that I see like memes about astrology for. I think that ran so fucking hard to kill. She has a shield. Yeah, so when I see astrology, the main things that I see are like... Like, when I was a kid, my parents used to have me read the horoscopes. Right? They used to read my horoscope to me and stuff like that. And I think that that, to me, like, that's the most popular usage of astrology in pop culture is, like, horoscopes. And I think everybody kind of knows that horoscopes are fake. Yeah. And then the other thing that I see a lot is, like, personality predictions. Like, I see on Facebook all the time, like, people who are saying, like, you know, because I'm a Gemini, I have this kind of personality. Oh, well, yeah, we all, everyone knows what that is. Right, and so, I totally agree with that. I think that that is, like, pretty obviously not a valid, like, you know, hypothesis that... That they they can't predict stuff like that. It just doesn't work. And so, I guess my question then is like, if if you don't think that astrology is doing that, then what is astrology supposed to be doing? Because that's all I ever see about astrology is that you know that they can predict either like the future through horoscopes or personality, and both of those things they just have demonstrated aren't they don't work. They, they're no better than chance and worse than stuff like age predictions. This horde consumes all the fight. Never end. When you finish training, train more. Always forward. I make it happen. Watch it. <laughs> trying to run down these Sona people. Yeah. Yeah, they kite super well. It's super annoying. I should get like righteous glory or something. I'm pr I feel like Warwick's ult, I mean, not Warwick, Yorick's ult is like entirely designed for side pushing, so I don't know how well it's Yeah, going. yeah, so true, actually, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. You should get that. I too. think she's okay. She's better when she's not. She's not, she's not Daisy. She's not super. Like. The thing that she's super good at is like she gives you. Every time she kills a minion, she spawns a little minion. Is that what she does? And I also think, isn't she like. The thing is, like, she stays alive on the bed. I mean, I guess. I think Tibber stays alive. I don't think Tibber stays alive. Yeah. 
I think she's meant to just side push. Just. <laughs> Ooh, I healed for so much, but still it wasn't enough. Okay, in, in, re in reality, I don't think... I think the strategy doesn't really do... I think the strategy just kind of makes it do. I think what the points are, they just are. And I think that there's people who have their own... I don't know, they ascribe their own meanings to those phenomena. But I don't mean, uh, but I don't think of those phenomena. I don't think of it where the bonus. I think the whole universe is super much the And of course, you could say, like, we can do that. And of course, but it's just the. It's like, I don't know. In my belief system, it's just like everything has an effect on everything else. And of course, yeah, that's yeah. In, in, a, in a smaller, more microcosmic sense, like obviously, you're talking more. Like this. Even in a <clears throat> more macrocosmic sense. Where the moon is <clears throat> does affect you know how events play on Earth, and I think that you could extrapolate that even further, and it's even further away from the moon, further away from. Uh, sure, I mean like gravity basically is why the moon affects stuff on the planets. Like that's how the the waves and stuff. Right, work. so it's just. I'm but like that. on the flip there side, might be, there might be there might be forces that aren't as easily measurable by our, you know, by our tech, that still have, obviously, a small, like, not a very large effect on us as people, but, I mean, there still might be some effect, even if it's not... And I think that's about it. Like, everything else is kind of just... What's the word I'm looking for? An ally has been slain. Get out! we go? I just think like to me the thing is like if you can if you can measure it and test it and like it's proven wrong, then like it probably is wrong. Like unless you can point to especially if like the astrologers agree. Right? That, like... Okay, so here's the thing. I think, like... I think, obviously, like, astronomy is real. Like, like to me, like, instead of instead of Christmas, I celebrate, like, winter solstice. Right? Like, mm -hmm. I gave my dad, like, a shirt of, like, uh... Of, like, you know, the where the Earth is around the sun. Wet on, like, winter solstice and summer solstice. And to me, you know, like, before there was, like, the Catholic Church, there were, like, you know, witches and stuff. And that's basically what they, they, you know, were all about the natural cycles. And Native Americans were, like, much the same. And most, like, most cultures had some kind of, like, seasonal celebration. And to me, like, if you look at, like, the how the planets work, I mean, but that mostly has to do with, like, Earth, obviously. Like, that doesn't really have anything to do with, like, the other planets affecting us. But, you know, I think that astronomy is a very important science that is scientifically valid. But I think, you know, I don't know, let me even look up what Wikipedia says astrology is. Astrology consists of a number of beliefs, belief systems that hold that there's a relationship between astronomical phenomena and events or descriptions of personality in the human world events or descriptions of personality so that's basically what it's saying so obviously like it doesn't have any effect on personality that just like hasn't been borne out whatsoever through like testing because that's something that's pretty easy to test right. right like you look at it you look at people's personalities and then you know just like they're doing these double blind studies yeah okay and then events like they're you know to some degree you're absolutely right that you know like the moon has an effect on like waves on earth you know tides um and you know there is some way in which that's like a thing but to to the extent that like you know like guilds of astrologers astrological people say that it is there just isn't any kind of like there just isn't evidence for that 
I mean, yeah, I don't know, like, you know, obviously, like I said, astronomy is, like, for sure a thing. I didn't get that road in time. Um, um, okay, well, if the thing is, it's like astrologers are making claims and then scientists are making counterclaims, well, yeah. There's going to be obviously, you know, and that's the thing. It's like, I don't know. I, the astrology is different all over the place because what I looked into was was like Indian astrology for a very long time, and they do see things really differently from Western astrologers, and it's it's really I don't know it's a very different practice it's a very different understanding of astrology, and yeah, as Western astrologers are always trying to graph everything and calculate everything, like it is like you can just predict a certain second which something will happen, and they do that, and sometimes it's accurate, and sometimes it's not. It's kind of just whatever, but yeah. Indians have a very strong culture of always like they, even some people still consult like their family astrologers. I think Parwat does actually. Like his family still like will like yeah, consult sure. it, and it's like it's and it's like I don't know. It's a just a, it's a different. It's a more internal. It's a more meditative. So when I just see like. Scientists just say, oh, it's a bunch of shit. It's like, I don't know if you're looking at it the same way other cultures have looked at it. I mean, yeah, I think, well, to me, and, you know, to most scientists, like, part of the, the fact that, like, there isn't any kind of consistency in, in, like, what different cultures believe, like, astrology does is, like, part of the problem. I don't think, well, maybe in their perspective it's part of the problem. That's like, I mean, other cultures, I mean, they're very different just in terms of like, I don't know, I don't want to say their initiations, but in terms of like what they came to do, like they decide, like the Chinese people don't see the world like the Indian people. I don't think that there was ever, there ever would be a possibility for all of them to agree on like what the stars say. I don't know what they're doing. I can't just do that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I think like, I think that there are certain things that have translated very, like, effectively from, like, meditation is something that, like, used to be, like, a spiritual practice in, like, um, in, like, Tibet and other places in Asia. And, like, there's a lot of scientific evidence for meditation. When they started to study it, and the Dalai Lama was like, hey, like, have you ever tested this? Because it's real. Like, they found out that it was real. Right? I mean, like, there's a lot of scientific evidence for... Yeah, there is. I mean, I'm aware of some of it. Yeah. It's, like, extremely valid. Extremely valid. And so, basically, I mean, what I'm saying is, like, if they're... Like, if it does have an effect, so just like you were saying earlier, like, there's... Like, because everything has an effect on everything else, which I think is true, right? You can, like, you can, you can measure it, right? I mean, that's part of what it means to say that something has an effect, is that whether it's mental or physical, or how whatever it's affecting, you can measure the effect, right? Like you might not have the right tools to do it. But like because if it's a real thing, then it's a measurable phenomenon. Like I think it's like only it's only measurable to the level to the height of which, like, we, like, programmed our technology to measure it. And to say that there's no other, like, I don't know. And when it comes to measuring, like, you can only measure, if, let's say you have a foot-long ruler, you can only measure a foot, like... Yeah. So, but, you know, if you had a foot-long ruler, you could measure it. Right. And that's what I'm saying. You to might agree. You might not have the right <laughs> technology to do it. Right? You might not have the right, you might not have the right, um, you know.
You might not have the right system to measure it either. Right? You might not have the right kind of, uh... Like, ideology to measure it. Like, before people knew that, like, electricity was real, you couldn't measure any kind of, like, electrical difference in... And, like, I totally agree with that. I think that, you know, I think that if you don't have the right tools and if you don't have the right system, you can't, there are things that you can't measure. And I think that any scientist would agree that, like, there are things that we can't measure that are real. And, and my thing is, and that kind of comes back to our other argument, like, let's say at one point something is measurable that someone perceived intuitively that someone and you know let's just like electricity electricity was always there but maybe it didn't it just wasn't perceived that's what it comes back to like it's like the per it's like the observer's like perception it's like a huge factor in well here's the thing though like the observer's perception is not a huge factor in electricity at all it's just that, like, I mean, we, we I can't it was, prove though. it. I think it was, though, prior to its, like, ex mainstream, like, exposure. I think there's probably people who are looking at what was with Thomas Edison who are like, what the fuck are you talking about? But here's what I'm saying. And is eventually, that, like, he, you know, there was a breakthrough. <laughs> but, like, the same way that you said that, like, electricity was always there. Right? Electricity existed right. regardless of whether or not we could measure it. And that means that, right. like, the perce the perception of it had no influence whatsoever on, like, whether or not, right. like, it was a thing. Right. I'm just saying that that, that same reason could apply to other phenomena than usual. Yeah. And I totally agree that there are certain phenomena that are real that we can't that we don't yet have like the technology to prove is real. But like at the same time, if if it's something that we ought to be able to prove with current technology that we haven't found any evidence for despite that, like I think that there I think that it's at that point reasonable to say that, like, you know, it isn't, that there's a problem. That there's a problem. Right? I mean, like, if, if, it's, if it's something that we ought to be able to measure, and we go to measure it, and it isn't there, like, there's a problem with, there's a problem with either our tools or our hypothesis or something. Right? Like, if, if, sure. And that thing always needs to jump on me. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Nivea is so slow. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All things are eventually extinguished. Okay, so, okay. We've established that there has been phenomena outside of our measurable capabilities before, and that there's a possibility that it can happen again. It's like a certainty, yeah. Of course it will happen again. Yeah. yeah. So there's people who make claims, and, you know, those claims aren't always substantiated. And, uh, They're substantiated no more often than chance in Western yeah. astrology. Right. And I think that's fair enough. Somebody mark this hard. I don't have the damage. I think it's a or something. I'm surprised we're not winning, because I'm like wrecking. <laughs> no, okay, so I think that's fair enough. I think we've come to a decent conclusion here. 